so what we got here today guys is a in dash dvd player we do got the knob now i'm going to be showing you how to fix this this has no power at all going to it we done check this out this is not the corporate it's something inside the cd player flash in dash dvd player that's not letting it kick on so we're going to take this cd player apart and show you exactly what i think it might be what you want to do is basically inspect your board for any bump places or anything that might look like it's damaged. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not. Let me get a light. This capacitor right here. Is the culprit. This thing has a bad capacitor and will need to be changed. Now you want to get the same size capacitor you got or just a little bit bigger. Some people prefer to go back with the same size, but it is easy to change and you want to make sure which way is your minus. This is your minus side. You can tell by here. You want to install it the same way that you remove it. Now in order to install this, we will have to remove this board here from this casing so we can get to the back side and install a new capacitor and clean this up this is the new capacitor it's just like the one that's in it don't forget to clean up your board we still got a little bit more cleaning to do on this one and then we'll be ready to install now guys this is pretty much the finished product we got the capacitor in now we are going to put the cd player back together so if you got a n dash dvd or cd player that ain't working Check it out. Might save some money. Might save you from having to buy a new stereo. You can see more videos on my YouTube channel, Tats for Life. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a comment. And I'll see you on the next video.